As they gather together for the last time this year, what Russia might be planning is looming large over this meeting with the European Union's leaders. Thousands of Russian troops are still amassed at the borders with Ukraine, fueling fears they're preparing to invade. Making his debut at the summit, Germany's new chancellor had this message for Moscow. We again have to emphasize that the integrity of borders is one of the key foundations for peace in Europe. Together we will do everything to ensure that we keep this integrity. A soft and diplomatic tone from the German leader, but some of his peers want a tougher stance. Namely, a commitment that Nord Stream 2, the major gas pipeline project between Russia and Germany, would be included in potential sanctions were Russia to make a move into Ukraine. It's very clear that uh, right now Putin is trying to use Nord Stream as a sort of blackmail uh, against the European Union, stating falsely that if we want more gas uh, in Europe, we have to open up the Nord Stream 2. This is false because there already is existing gas infrastructure to supply Europe with all the gas that we need via Ukraine. Outside the venue, another threat is looming. It had been hoped that with high vaccination rates in most EU member states, the pandemic would be over. Now the situation has changed dramatically. Europe is bracing for a difficult winter. It's expected that Omicron will be the new dominant variant here by the middle of January. As the holiday season approaches, the timing couldn't be worse. And now there are real fears of a health crisis. But the bloc's leaders still need to nail down the details of a unified approach. For the Estonian Prime Minister, that comes down to three things. First, how to uh, move on with the booster doses uh, so that uh, people would get protection also for the Omicron variant. Uh, second, uh, we should agree on the validity of the COVID certificates, that uh, it's uh, unified across the European Union. And a third, we also need to agree on um, unified uh, travel rules. As EU leaders put their heads together once again, the year may be winding down, but the challenges are mounting.